Hey guys and welcome back to another time-lapse video. My name is Sandy Butchers and today I want to take you behind the scenes to show you what my art process looks like. Now today's piece is part of a commission and uh, sadly at a time of uploading that's all I can really say about this project. Um, it is still like top secret and I cannot mention uh, the product that this is all for uh, but I do recommend you to head on over to my socials if you don't want to miss the final reveal on what this is going to be I promise you it's going to be cool but you know what I'm biased um, anyway go to my socials uh, Facebook Twitter whatever you name it I am pretty much everywhere um, but if you if you want to know what this is all about and when and how you will be able to get it um, I do recommend um, you know, staying in touch or keeping up to date with things. Um, in any case, in today's video, I am working on a bunch of rag dolls. Um, and um, following up on the previous video for the frog prints, um, that was one of the first um, illustrations that I made that I really, really focused on these different textures. And so in today's video, in these rag dolls, I wanted to explore a little bit more. Um, I wanted to try out a, an entirely different style uh, just to see if I could pull it off. Um, and so what you're looking at is, first of all, a very different set of brushes. And um, that is pretty unique for me because usually <laughs> you'll just see me working with a standard round, almost like MS Paint kind of brush. It, that's just what I use. And of course, I use a blender um, and the blender will add a little bit of texture. Um, but today I'm working with some very painterly brushes, um, stuff that is really going to pull out that almost oil painting uh, like feeling. Um, and to make them extra grungy and gritty, I'm also working with a lot of watercolor splashes. So there is a there is a combination of two different things going on. There's first of all the sort of oil painting uh, under layer, and then on top of that, I'm using these very watery sort of ink splotches. Um, it was a lot of fun to work on this one because first of all, this is also not a theme like in terms of content or story um, that you guys are you know used to seeing. This is a very harsh, very dark and gritty kind of illustration um, and that should tell you a little something about you know what this project you know is going to be. Um, but in any case I'm not gonna tease you any further um, you know what to do if you want to know what this is. <laughs> um, but yeah so this illustration contains three different rag dolls or you know like these weird horror like dolls. Um, and this first one you see me working on right now is the one in the foreground, which is a doll and we've replaced um, one of the eyes with a button, it's like almost a classic sense of horror. Um, but at the same time, like I didn't want it to go too much, almost into like a, a Tim Burton style. So I'm, I'm balancing out the style and, uh, and story um, to, to find a sort of well, you know, a way to make it mine. So how can people look at this and think, whoa, this is a Sandy Butchers and this is not a Tim Burton or this is not a whatever. And um, so part of me, you know, while working here is still very much looking, I'm, I'm trying to discover, I'm, I'm really I'm setting this, this new style up and there will be more illustrations in this style. Um, but it's it's always funny to look back at a first a first try of something. Um, this this was a combination of many many things that were new. Um, I do like the bear by the way. The bear. I think I went a bit overboard with the bear, um, with the blood and the eyes, and there is there is a lot of horrific stuff going on. Um, but anyway, I am I'm really um, going off topic here. <laughs> Core business was texture. And um, uh, what I do like about working in this style is that I'm I'm no longer tied to this normal color system, where I had this base color and then two or three um, um, you know dark tones and then two or three light tones to sort of blend it all together. Um, because when you're working with these oil painting brushes, you can just layer stuff and you can you have a completely different um, uh, setting to the brush that will allow you to layer. And um, when you use the brush in different places but you you put them on top of each other the color will intensify even until it's almost black um, so that was very nice uh, to just experiment with because normally i would really have to have an idea of what colors would go where um, and here i could just i could let the colors work for themselves 
I could just use a yellow or, or like a brownish um, brush and it would just I would just keep layering it until it had the color that I wanted it to be uh, and at the same time it's it, it feels less organized than what I usually do so that chaos with that sort of randomness and, and letting the colors do their own job that was so different compared to what I normally do um, and I really like that kind of freedom um, and I, I really, really appreciate the, the textures that are coming forward from this. It's almost like somebody painted this with a spatula even. It's, it's so raw and um, I am very happy to see that rawness really transfer into the core of this image because, I mean, obviously looking at these uh, figures, um, raw is really the kind of vibe that we're going for. There is nothing cute about these these dolls anymore. They are they are really harsh, really raw, very grungy. Um, and so you'll see that texture really is all that matters in this one. I we I've used gray tone uh, images uh, of this in the product that I'm working on, um, but looking at it with the color, it doesn't really matter if it's grayscale or full color simply because the texture is so strong and outspoken. Um, so yeah, so that was really the adventure for this particular drawing. Um, it, it's like balancing between humor, horror, um, and all these it's really bright colors that really, at least what I, that's what I'm trying, I'm trying to provoke all kinds of emotions here. Um, but it was a fun little adventure and I really, I cannot wait to share what this piece is going to be used for. Um, but yeah, uh, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that follow, like that subscribe button. Um, and please leave a comment. I am very much looking forward to hear what you think of this particular illustration or even this style. What do you think? Is it is it something for you? Is it something, you know, that you'd like to see more of? Um, let me know. And I thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.